All right. This is gonna be a full review of my 2024 Ford Mustang GT Premium. And this is gonna be the one with the 4-1-A package. Uh, best try to get it fully loaded. And uh, yeah, that's how she looks right now. Again, it's gonna be fully stock. I have not changed anything any on it at all. Everything is basically from the factory straight. All right, let's get into it. So, I'm gonna start with the outside first, and then I'm gonna, work, I'm gonna make my way down to the inside. First things first. Uh, you got those nice lights right there. They're black. The black dark was of the nine pony package. Let me turn on the light. Mm, the lights on. So that's how the lights look like. Got the sequential lights. And then another thing too, the, it has the intake right there. And that one is open, but the one on the other side over here, uh, for cooling is not open. That one is actually shut down. And the lights from this angle right here. That Mustang point is gonna be black because of the blacked out package. Other ones have like brighter one. It's gonna be like a little bit lighter. For the, like, it's like chrome. For the lights too, in the inside, that right there is gonna be like kind of uh, like chrome type, like chrome around it. And uh, I did uh, opt on to putting on the stripes on the top. A lot of people don't like the stripe, but I like it because I didn't want to really do much things to it. And then uh, the Brembo's, this is how the Brembo's look. They clean in red. And then uh, the, the uh, tires, I'm personally, I ain't gonna lie, I do not like the tires. The, the wheels, the wheels are hard to clean because there's a lot of spokes on it. Really tough to clean. Got the 5 volt badge right there. And because of the black night pony package, I did get to get the mirrors cap black, the roof black, which again, I like a lot. And the spoiler comes in black. The wheels too end up coming in black. They usually, they like, I think the gun metallic or something like that. That's what they usually look. But now, since I got the, the night pony package, makes them black. The tires in the back, they are 275, 4019. The ones in the front, it's a little bit smaller. The ones in the front gonna be the 225 uh 4019s. And then uh for the gas, Jesus, this thing takes a lot of gas, man. It takes the 87 plus, but I think I drive maybe like 40 miles, 50 miles a day. And I find myself putting gas in like every three days or so. And uh, it comes with a Pirelli, Ferrelli, something like that, Ferrari tires. Them things don't go do good in snow at all. But again, I'm starving. I still drove, drove it in the snow time. Uh, when I got it, because it was around like snow time. Now, this one is going to have the uh, performance pack on it. I'm going to show you right here. It should say performance on it. Let me see if the camera can focus on that. And there we go, performance pack. So in the back it's gonna say Mustang GT, it's gonna say GT performance right onto the sign. They got the tail light, sequential lights right there. Uh, let me see if I can put a second, show you guys how they go. They're still the same as the previous ones. There's a four way. All right. So that's still sequential like that. Look a little bit smaller, they have a stronger curve. Everybody's complaining about how they're too curved. Honestly, I kind of kind of like it better than the other one. But Jesus, when you clean it, you always hurt your fingers on it because they're more sharp now in the, uh, on the edges. Love the spoiler. Spoiler's pretty good. Though I kind of like the dark hole spoiler because the dark hole spoiler kind of has a little like uh, thing that's raised up like that right there. I think I might be getting that one off the market. That's one of the mods that I think I'm actually gonna do. Uh, as my first mod is gonna be uh, the spoiler on the, the little lifting thing on the spoiler in the back right here. Won't be as big, but it will do. Now, when I cleaned it today, I decided to leave some 
some of the spokes not clean like this one here because it collects a lot of dust i can be able to show you guys how much dust it collects so you can see it's, it's not as it's not like shiny as the other ones on the other side that's because i left it so i can be able to show you guys how much dust it collects and cleaning it it's a pain in the ass now the good thing about the this one here it comes with the uh the lip spoiler right there it's not as big but it'll do the job makes it look more aggressive and it does come with the turning signal on the lights too now this one has the 41a package which doesn't really do as big big changes on it it gives you the this sign right here lighting up at nighttime i don't know if it's lighting up right now at nighttime it lights up it's like really nice and bright and you do have the lights in the bottom right here the ambient lights And that's how the outside looks. So give you guys a far look. And a lot of people keep saying it looks like a Camaro. I don't really care if it does or doesn't. It took me a while to agree with that, but it's the third time I met. It's the third time I met somebody, and uh, the first question they asked me was. Yo, is that, is that a Camaro right there? Is that the SS? And I have to keep telling them, now, nah, it's not the SS, it's the Ford Mustang. It just looks kind of like the Camaro in the back a little bit. But as you can see how the sequential uh, turning signals to the, uh, in the front too. Now, one thing that I haven't got to understand yet, it's why the little light in the corner right here. Uh, so the RTR, the RTR, they have, uh, so the RTR have the or come like the, the lights that goes right up in here. So I'm thinking maybe that, that is what it was for. And when you connect the RTR lights, it goes into that, but I doubt it because it's not as bright for you to be able to see those RTR uh, lights in, uh, inside the nostrils out here. Now the intake, uh, there's gonna be an intake right here, which is open. There's gonna be another one right here, which is where those big, uh, uh, intakes come come in at. Let me pop the trunk, the, the hood right now. I'm gonna show you guys that engine. Something I like about it already is the, the rods to lift it up. Because usually you gotta lift. I hate when I have to lift the hood and it's heavy as hell. Uh, that's how the five uh, five liter Coyote uh, engine looks like. Uh, they got the two uh, intakes right there, which come out to this side right here. And then they got that. Ah, shit. Strats hot as hell too. Uh, to keep that torque strong. Man, it's hot. And uh, that's how the engine looks from far. Just so I can prop the camera and rev it up a little bit for the engine side. Something I just noticed, uh, uh, actually when you rev it, there's a lot of air that comes in one of these parts right here. A lot of, it sucks in a lot of air. Let me see if I can give you guys a listen to it right here. It kind of almost sound like, uh, it kind of almost sound like the, the, um, the Hemi or whatever the, a big muscle charger engine. Yeah, 
Yep, he sucks in the lateral area, that's for sure. All right. So let me close it up and uh, let's check out the back. Oh, and not just that, you got the the hood, uh, the hood uh, uh, air escape right there. That's for the cooling. So basically the air goes uh, through the nostrils right here sides and then it comes in and then it escapes through the top right here now one thing I don't like I've been noticing when I'm driving is the hood is so soft when you're driving it's shaking I try to adjust it instead of somewhere you can adjust it but still it's kind of shaky a little bit and from now on I'm gonna go to the cut to the car wash because I already got a big scratch I don't know if you guys can see it from the car wash at Delta Sonic. And uh, since we're in the back now, let me show you guys the trunk. So that's how the trunk looks. It's not as big, I already got my work bag in there. It comes with a big uh, speaker right there. It's the Bose, they call it. There's no spare tire in the back at all. But you can put one if you want to have option for it. It comes with an inflator kit right there. And the trunk is not as big. And what I noticed too, the trunk kind of looks smaller from the other previous gen. But here's the thing though, when you buy a Mustang, uh, you're not really looking uh, for the trunk and those kind of stuff, uh, storage size. You're more focused on just the power, the drive. Now, another thing here in the back, the exhaust right there, mine is quad tips. And uh, let me see, I can try to show you guys the active, uh, the active exhaust right there, the shutting, and uh, that one that opens and closes. I don't know if you can see it, but I can. Let me see, I can prop the camera, rivet it a little bit, and I see it open and close. Flashlight to see if we can make it more bright. Uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, but if you didn't, I'll probably post a picture of it later. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, uh, riveting it in different modes. So, first, I'm gonna put it in uh, normal mode. So, normal mode. So it's gonna be normal mode. And for the exhaust, I'm gonna make sure the exhaust is still. I'm gonna tell you guys about that one in a minute. The exhaust is gonna be on a normal too. I'm gonna rev it, I'm gonna hear how it sounds. So normal mode. That was normal mode right there. Now I'm gonna put it in sport. And let's see how that sounds too. So that's sport mode again. It got one more. It's uh, they call it track, track mode. Uh, I'm gonna put it in track mode. I, I know you guys didn't see the me playing in sport, so that was sport right there. I like the animation though for sure. That's track mode right there. 
it changed the exhaust to track two by itself. I don't gotta really change it. So track mode is more kind of a grips, kind of like just deepens it out. All right, now, now I'm gonna do the interior of the car. Now, keep in mind the interior, for you to get it in red, you gotta have the 41A package. They do not give you the option of having the red color if you don't have the 41A package. So, this is how the interior looks it's gonna be in red. The outside is rapid red, but the inside, it kind of looks kind of maroon or something like that. That's how the door looks right there. We got the three memory seats right there. The window, auto, auto window, up and down. And for changing the mirror, we got a speaker right at the door right here and another speaker right here. In the mirror, because I got the safety pack, I got the... Uh, the blind spot monitoring system and the inside we got the handbrake it's not a parking brake it's like a kind of a hand, like electronic parking brake type and then I got a 10 speed right there don't mind my juice 10 speed right there automatic that's the lights right there we got the trunk so it's gonna be the trunk right here the lights the daytime running lights auto lights uh, I'm turning off the lights. And uh, so this is how the dash looks. Well, the, the dash is actually, I, I, before it wasn't my favorite, like I was like, yeah, whatever. But now I kind of fuck with it. It's one of the best. Like, I love the big screens and everything. You can even fucking spin the whole Mustang like that. Woo! All right. This is how the dash, and we're gonna make our way to the steering wheel right here. So dash first. So the dash, uh, you can customize it if you want. So all you gotta do is press the Mustang uh, button right there, and it's gonna bring up uh, theme clusters. So on the theme cluster right there, you're gonna click on it, and you can select how you want the dash to look like. So if let me say I wanna put it in uh, normal mode. Uh, it's gonna change the dash to look like that. It's just like a regular uh, dash. If I change it to go to sport, it will look, look like that. Now, when I got the Mustang, when I got the Mustang, one thing I used to say all the time was, "Huh, why do people like the um, why do people like the track better than the sport? The sport was like the one I liked better. But the day we were driving back, I was like, I told my lady, I was like, yo." Hey, why do people like the track? The track just look like regular numbers. And come to cat too. I've been driving in track uh, uh, cluster the whole entire time till today. I don't even like the sport cluster anymore. So this is how the sports cluster look like. And uh, this is how the track cluster look like. I love it. Just, so it makes you feel like it's actually, it's a Mustang. And you got calm. I'm just a regular one like that and everybody's favorite the fox body right now it's not green but at nighttime that's when it changes to green it's like a really nice green and it kind of brings out their old fox uh, body uh, the 87 to 93 uh, Mustangs now from the inside this is how the uh, valve look like I'm gonna try to rip it from the inside. You guys can tell. The, so you guys can see the difference. Let me put it back to track. I like it on track better. So back on track. So I'm gonna change the drive mode to go to normal. So in normal, with the exhaust shot, that's how it sounds like. So right now it's shot. And uh, I'm gonna rev it. 
that's with the exhaust uh, uh, shut, shut, uh, shut off. I'm going to open it up in regular. It still sounds good. I'm going to put it in sport. Just, just the exhaust, not the engine. And that's how it sounds like. I'm going to put it in track, just the exhaust again. That's how it sounds like. I'm going to go from the track to shutting it off. That's how it goes. It goes real quiet. And again, as I told you guys, I like driving it in uh, Sport. For me in Sport, uh, you know, the part one. As soon as you put it in Sport, it changes the the, vol the exhaust to into a Sport uh, exhaust. Flip the screen here. Again, I'm one man camera right now. Whew, it's a hot day. All right. Um, another thing that I actually discovered that I like was uh, the steering wheel. On the steering wheel, you can uh, actually limit the speed. So, like, you're going to borrow the car to somebody and you don't want them to pass a certain speed. You can turn that on, which comes up on the dash. It's going to be that little small thing right there. I'm going to pop it off and pop it back on. That right there, it limits the speed to a certain amount of speed. So, if you borrow somebody the, the car, they can't be out there just ripping it. So it comes with the uh, the, uh, the forward uh, um, what do you call this? The basically keeps the car in front of you at a certain distance, and you got a cruise control right there, and then got the lane keep assist right there. And this way you're gonna you can select the drive modes. So if you wanna go from uh, to the screen from sport, I like the animation. to check that out. Track, you get drag strip. It's slippery when it's raining and stuff, snowy. It custom and customize it however you want it to uh, drive like, and that's normal right there. Keep my baby in sport. And then uh, on the steering wheel, you do have the Mustang logo on it. I love the steering wheel. A lot of people kept asking me like, what's the difference in the steering wheel? So for the when I ordered mine, the silver one had uh, the same type of steering wheel. It's gonna be any different, but. The little like breathing thing like that it doesn't have that it's just pure like leather wrapped around just like this all the way around but I like this one kind of makes it more feel more sporty and aggressive down below we got don't mind my ashy feet down below we got that pedal there in chrome that's a dead pedal it's not a it's not a manual it's an automatic and that's the brake right there in uh, uh, chrome 2 And uh, on the other side of the steering wheel, you got the, you can select what kind of steering wheel you want, sport or nothing. You w wouldn't be able to change it, it won't let you because it's a sport. So you'd have to first change the drive into normal. Normal, they'll let you select whatever, whatever uh, steering how you want, how soft you want it. So the steering wheel right now, uh, it's in normal. I can go ahead and select uh, comfort. I'm gonna say comfort on the screen, or I can go ahead and select uh, sport. So it will drive normal, but with a sport steering wheel. Just by that click of that button right there. So again, put it back in sport because I love mine in sport. Okay. Now in the screen in the middle right here, you can change it however you want. Like, bro, they made it so easy to customize. If you open up the track app right there, you can basically like customize whatever you want. You can change the acceleration uh, timer, brake performance, and the la 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 lap timer. And then you do have also the drift brake right here. I never use it. I don't think I will. You have the line lock right there too. If you wanna just take off on some good, uh, uh, some good smoke behind. Go back. Have the auxiliary gauges. First, I didn't know what the, what the hell this was, was, but now I understand it more. So usually, when people want to do the uh, hard drive, it's best to keep it on that screen right there, so you can be able to see all your all your pressure and all those kind of things. And then uh, custom mode, I, I just discovered about this one actually pretty soon. Uh, custom mode, you can change uh, how you want the car to perform, like in normal mode. If I want, uh, like in normal, if I want to like, so right now it's in normal. If I say I want to change the shocks to be a certain way, 
and that animation though. The shocks to be in a certain way, I can change that. And then the steering, the steering, I can change that too. Bro, you gotta give them, you gotta give, give to them about this one, man. They did their big one on that. And the slippery, if I wanted to change how the tires pick up on speed, I can change that too. All right, now I come down to my color. My color, that's when it lets you customize how the dash looks. And if you go to ambient lighting, you can customize how the lights look under the, usually it's under here or in the door right there. Nothing in the back at all. So, for example, here, if right now this, on the dash, it's uh, purple and uh, blue. I can change right there, I can put red and like green. So I'm gonna just drag that and drag that right there. And the dash is gonna change, as you can see that. Or I can do the opposite, red here, blue here. And it's just gonna change that too. All right, and then uh, we go back to the Mustang. And then I did talk about the theme clusters. Yep, yep, that's good. And it does come with Apple CarPlay too. It come with wireless charging right here. And that's gonna be the power button right there. It's gonna be the auto start stop. Auto start stop. I never use that, I don't know how it works. It's just, it's on the stereo on the dash right there, but. I don't even want to fuck with them. And that's gonna be the four-way lights, and that's gonna be the uh, your favorite way, you know, to whatever you want it to be. I haven't put anything on it yet. And that's gonna be the max AC. It's gonna have the volume knob. Now, uh, one thing I don't like it actually happened to me uh, twice now. It's the uh, steering wheel and uh, having the AC controls in the dash one time i woke up in the morning it was frozen it wasn't actually working and uh it wasn't working and i had to drive the mustang with the steering wheel scorching hot and the seat's hot because i couldn't like reset the uh the dash because there's no button to reset the dash on the dash basically so if if it's froze you're basically stuck with that for a while I think I'm gonna have to take it to the to the car, uh, to the dealership and have that checked out. She better be recording. You better be recording. All right. Back into the uh, dash again here. Just remembered something. So no, this is how basically the heated seats are right there inside the dash. The temperature thing is right inside the dash too, right there. So if you need to change the temperature seat, you can change it from there. Cool. It's heated and cooled. And then uh, let me turn that off. The temperature on the change how hot the temperature is in here can go up and down. Again, through that, there's literally no buttons. The only button that you got is probably this right here and this uh, volume knob. The heated steering wheel is gonna be right there too. You can uh, turn on and turn off from that. The the blower is gonna be right there. Again, everything right in the screen. And this one, since I got the 418 package, I do get the dual uh, blowers. Basically, that's how it blows. That's on the bottom, top. Blows on the dash, blows on my feet, blows into the front uh, air vents right there. And then I'm gonna turn it off, turn it off through the dash. Not my favorite. I'm gonna have a nice mirror right there for the backup mirror. I like how it's uh, literally edge to edge, it's clear, nice and clear. And on the top, you do have the garage opener. And that's when I buy a house, which I haven't yet. And you got three options right there. The mirror, they still got the old uh, orange lights. I would like it to be kind of brighter than that. Probably can change those myself, put it something brighter. Though these ones here, they're definitely bright. I like, I like those, I like bright white. On this side, they got uh, it's like a fake carbon fiber right there, like plastic carbon fiber. But again, it makes the car look good. It's all about the thoughts on this one. And then on the passenger side, you're gonna get the uh, the little glass right there with the little uh, aluminum or silver right there. And you got the Mustang right there with the Mustang sign. I'm zooming in right there. Yep. That's the Mustang right there. 
the red the le uh, red uh, leather seats right there again the buttons are still the same from the previous gen they are no different at all basically they for the unlock and lock still the same I believe that too is still the same too for opening and, lo and closing the door and now you can have a speaker right there another speaker right there and another speaker right there again and then uh, I look like we got some type of sensor right here. It's the first time I'm seeing it actually. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it's right there. So I can focus on that. Yeah, we got some type of sensor right there. All right. Uh, I think I'm almost on 20 minutes. She's already 30 minutes. Damn, that was fast. All right, me having the 401A package, right? It allows me, basically, uh, sometimes to come out today too, me having the 401A package, when the car is locked, the middle cancel too, it basically locks, basically cannot unlock. I almost even broke trying to open it up when I thought that, oh, when I thought that the, um, I broke it or something like that. The, when you get the 401A package, it gives the red uh, seat belts. I do not know why the line is not in the middle. I would like it to be symmetrical. You got the auto uh, seats right there, but for that you gotta do it manually. I set it on three, so you can be able to just pull the seat in the front for me. I don't have to keep struggling going in the back, trying to lift it up. So that's how the back looks like. A lot of people that do the videos, they don't wanna go in the back, but I'm gonna go in there. It's my first time actually going in the back. All right. Here we go, one leg first. Oh, it's definitely kind of high. Flip the camera for you guys. And uh, so that's how it looks. Mm. All right. So this is how it looks to be in the back. I'm 5'9". So this is how it looks to be in the back of the Ford Mustang. There's literally no room really. So when you get this, when you get your friend, you have to kind of scrunch a little bit like this to, for them to be able to fit in the back. Oh, we got airbags right here too. But yeah, no, it looks pretty, pretty comfortable to me at all though, you know. But again, you don't want to kill anybody too uh, tall than like 5'8". That would be like the max uh, height. But again, going and going out for me, it's comfortable. There's nothing really I would say that was bad. Only the seating is where you have to keep watching your head on the top right there. All right, so that's me coming out. One leg out first, and slide right out. All right. The last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna count how many. The last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna count how many uh, Mustang uh, logos I can find. So starting with the inside, we got one right there. We got two right there, three on the steering wheel, four right there, this fifth one on the on the rainbow bricks, so I'm gonna show you in a better angle. So five, six. Seven, eight again on the Brembo. They have, on Brembo there's both of them. Uh seven, eight. Why well, don't have an angle with the Brembo's on it? Eight. There's a ninth one right there on the dash. Ninth one right there. Ten. So eleven. There's another one on the other side. All right. There it is. The little Mustang on the rainbows. So I got eleven so far. If anybody finds more than that, just let me know. And another Easter egg they call it uh, on the back right here. They got the, uh, all the Jan Mustangs. They got the, let's see, the one I currently have right here, the uh, 2018's ones right there, the previous Jan. They got all the other ones in the back right there. But yeah, Ford Mustang GT Premium. If I missed anything, just let me know. I'll uh, record it up and put it up there for you guys. I can't deny that the thing looks clean, real clean. Right, we're gonna do a little revving it up again one more time for you guys and we're gonna cut the video so let me flip the camera back 
So that will be the 2024 Ford Mustang GT Premium specifically. Uh, with the performance pack and uh, it's going to have the 41A package on it. And let me prop the camera up and review for you guys a little bit. And I'm going to call it a day. Right there. I'm actually going to drive it out. I'm going to drive off with it too. I'm already leaving. Perfect. Here. Already leaving. Great. Yeah, I guess the latest kind of kicking us out from the parking lot. Again, the video's already done. The video's already done. It's gonna be on my YouTube in a, a couple of days. Um, hopefully, it was nice and clean. And hopefully, I can be able to fit the whole video on the YouTube because almost like 30 minutes. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. Alright guys, big body the stallions at 650 out.